Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power 132 and 3 to the power 85. Now these are very large numbers with somewhere around 40 digits and we're going to be comparing these numbers without of course using a calculator or any type of computer. So in order to associate a power of 2 and a power of 3 we can kind of look at different powers of 2 and 3 and see where they get closer. So for example, one of them could be something like, we know that 2 to the 3rd is equal to 8, and 3 to the 2nd is 9, and we definitely know that 3 to the 2nd power is greater than 2 to the 3rd power. So from here, can we go to these numbers? Well, when you think about it, to get to 132 from the 2nd uh, power, you need to raise both sides to the power 66. When you do that, uh, you get something, well actually I shouldn't look at it that way. I have a 3 on the right hand side. So, 3 on the left hand side. So 3 to the 2nd power, to go from 3 to the 2nd to 3 to the 85, I need to raise both sides to the power uh, 42 or something like that. Let's try that. Raise both sides to the power 42. And then on the other side, you're going to have 2 to the power 3 to the power 42. Now this is a true inequality because we started off with a true inequality. Let's see if this is going to get bring us closer. This is going to be 3 to the power 84, and on the right hand side I'm going to get 2 to the power 126. Now, if you look at the situation where you have the 3 to the 84 is greater than 2 to the power 126, obviously uh, you can tell that which one is greater here, but when you go to the 3 to the power 85, you know, you're going to be multiplying both sides by something, and then hopefully you can go from here. So that's one way to look at it. But I'm going to use a more direct approach, which is, of course, not very easy to see if you do not know the higher powers of these numbers. So I'm going to be looking for something um, that can divide both 132 and 85 or something nearby. And here's what I can get from here. All right. So... I can evaluate 3 to the power 12 and, you know, for the sake of time, I'm just going to give you what it is, 531,441. And I'm going to evaluate 2 to the power 19, again, which is a very large number, 524,288. So these numbers are pretty close. How do I know that? Because I do have a chart that compares different powers. That's how I know. Now, we can safely say that 3 to the power 12 is greater than 2 to the power 90. Now, how is that going to help us? Well, from the 12th power, I want to go to uh, something like um, 85. So how about raising both sides to the 7th power? So let's go ahead and do that. 3 to the power 12 and 2 to the power 19. And I'm going to be raising both sides to the power 7. And of course, the inequality is going to be preserved. And this is going to give us 3 to the power 84 is greater than 19 times 7 is going to be 133. Right, great. So 2 to the power 133. Obviously, uh, 3 to the power 84 is greater than 2 to the power 126. We knew that, but we didn't know if this is still going to be greater than any larger power of 2, obviously. Even if you make the power of 2 real large here, the 3 is still going to be greater than that because the difference is huge when you look at this equation. That's why this is not a very efficient approach. Uh, so you have to make the, you know, inequality better. Now, this is what I have. And remember, our original problem ask, is asking us to compare these two numbers. And we're pretty close because we know that 3 to the power 85 is greater than 3 to the power 84. And 2 to the power 133 is greater than 2 to the power 132. If you put it all together, we get the following. This means 3 to the power 85 is greater than 3 to the power 84, which is greater than 2 to the power 133, which is greater than 2 to the power 132. And our initial numbers were the 2 to the power 132 and 2, 2, okay. Our numbers were 2 to the power 132 and 3 to the power 85. Therefore, these are our original numbers. We can safely say that as a conclusion, 3 to the power 85 is greater than this number or since we started off with a power of 2, we can say that 2 to the power 132 is going to be less than 3 to the power 85. 
And this brings us to the numerical values, not to the end of the video yet, because I'd like to show you what those numbers look like. And you can verify that numerically as well. So 2 to the power 132 is approximately 5.44 something times 10 to the power 39. As I said earlier, this number has 40 digits and 3 to the power 85 is a 41 digit number, which is obviously greater than 2 to the power 132. So this also verifies that the first number, 2 to the power 132, is less than 3 to the power 85. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.